Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'll show you my brand new free tweaking utility. So this tool increases your FPS, decreases your latency, and also decreases your input delay. It also has more benefits like cleaning your temporary files and other useless files on your PC, which just take up your storage. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. These are basically better and more advanced versions of this one. This is just very basic. This one has about 75 tweaks and my premium one has over 375. So there's a massive difference between them. So if you notice a big difference using this one, I'm sure either my premium or standard tweaking utility will help you much more. I have hundreds of reviews on my website and Discord server, so just check them out. Now let's just start the video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is join my Discord server, discord.gg/exm, or the link in the description, and go to the free tweaks category. So here you can see free tweaking utility version 1.2. There might be a new version out already, so simply just use that. And if you're watching this and you want a new version, you want 1.3, get the video to 750 likes and I'll drop 1.3. Just click on the link, uh, it will take you to a Google Drive. Right click on the utility, press download. And it may say this type of file is dangerous. Uh, I have it in a different language, but you just press uh, keep anyway or download anyway. Uh, it's because it's a batch file and every single batch file gets this warning even if there's uh, no code in it I can assure you that the file is safe and it doesn't have any viruses or anything like that uh, After you have it downloaded uh, just right click on it and make sure to run it as administrator If you don't run it as administrator the tweaks won't properly apply But just run it as administrator and here it will make a restore point before you do it So this is so you can uh, revert the tweaks at any time. All right so after that, I download the resources and put you in the app. So you're just going to do all the options with me. So first, just press 1 and enter. And this will tweak a bunch of uh, settings in your registry, like disable preemption, disable high precision event timer, and just a bunch of other stuff, which will decrease your latency and uh, also increase your FPS. So yeah. All right, so after that, we have power tweaks, which I have a warning for the people who are on very like poorly cooled PCs that you have uh, overheating issues, etc. I would just skip these because these can increase your temperatures, but of course they decrease your latency and increase your FPS. So it's worth it if you have a PC which gets good temperatures or even uh, a laptop. Just don't do it on PCs that already overheat. So just press 2 and this will disable a bunch of power saving features this is really basic compared to like my premium or standard tweaking utilities but yeah here you can select my power plan if you have any like other power plans my free power plan is one of the best free power plans out there but uh, if you have any other power plans i would just press on this and delete it but i'm still gonna use my premium one since it's better of course and yeah so after that, we have optimized window settings. So this is just a very basic uh, st window settings optimization. It may show an error if you already have uh, some of these disabled, like uh, the I already have the customer's experience improvement program disabled. So that's why it shows errors. And uh, also the other errors uh, may be because of this in like telemetry and stuff. But I'm getting too ahead of myself. So after that, we have clean. And this will just clean a bunch of temporary files. I'll skip to when it's finished because I don't want to I don't want to show my temporary files since you can actually find out a decent amount of st stuff from it. But yeah, uh, clean just finished. After that, we have uninstall useless apps. Which you just press 5 and this will uninstall a bunch of pre-installed apps. And I'll just skip to when it's finished since this is another one of these which takes a little while. And before we do the other section, I just want to tell you guys, get this video to 500 likes after 24 hours of it dropping and I'll drop an update for the utility. I'll drop 1.3. But uh, if you guys don't get that, just get the video to 750 likes and I'll uh, drop it in a few days. But yeah, uh, let's just do auto runs next. So after that, here you can see, make sure to go to the logon section. Logon section, or if you might end up disabling some services, like it's pretty hard to do it, but some people just do it and then they blame it on me. But if you go to if you don't go to the logon section, you could end up disabling a service which is uh, needed for your Windows to run. You should uncheck everything except your antivirus and these NA files, and also CMD. But the rest the rest of these like Epic Games Launcher, Logic Hack, Gob, I would personally just 
uh, uncheck them since they start instantly when you turn on your PC which may hinder performance but yeah you can just simply close it when you uncheck them and after that we have nvidia gpu tweaks so only do these if you are on a nvidia gpu if you don't know what gpu you have just go to task manager like this go to performance and here you can see i have a nvidia geforce rtx 3080 and uh, if you're on an amd it should show like radeon or something but yeah also intel is an option here but just press 7 and this will apply the best nvidia profile inspector which this optimizes your nvidia control panel settings in a lot more detailed way of course my premium uh, profile is a lot better so yeah just check out my premium tweaks you won't regret it i have so many vouchers and it helped so many people like on low end or even high end pcs with their latency it's just a really good tool overall and i'm not even being biased but yeah just press uh, 8 if you have an AMD GPU. I can, you can do this, by the way, on a NVIDIA GPU. It just won't uh, do anything. But, so if you mess up, just don't be scared. But uh, I'm just showing it since, you know, for the AMD people. It's, there's nothing really, like, special about it. It just applies a bunch of stuff in the registry and that's all. Uh, but yeah. Of course, uh, you don't have to do this if you're on NVIDIA GPU. Actually, don't do this. It does nothing. But I can just show, I just wanted to showcase it since it won't do anything. And same with Intel GPU tweaks. If you have Intel GPU, just go to Intel. And after that, we have CPU tweaks, which dis uh, disables core parking. And uh, I already have it disabled, so it may show an error. And same with thr throttle states, it disables them as well. So after that, we have uh, USB tweaks and this will disable a bunch of usb power saving features and thread priority etc so it just lowers your latency i mean it actually lowers your it just lowers your delay a little bit so after that we have telemetry which disables like tracking features uh more stuff it may sure show errors for some people since uh, i already have them disabled for example or you know don't don't be worried about errors Alright, so after that we have high priority for games, so simply just press 13 enter. And here you have a bunch of options, so you can basically make it so your CPU prioritizes Fortnite or any other of these games over any other application. And this will increase your FPS in most cases. And in some rare cases it may cause FPS drops, so you can simply just press R and it will revert it. Uh, but I play Fortnite, I'm just gonna press Fortnite priority and yeah, that's all. You can of course do the other options as well and after that we have mouse and keyboard tweaks so yeah so after that we have disable useless animations so you just press 15 and copy my settings settings in this so here just press on adjust for best performance and then custom and make sure to select smooth edges on screen fonts and uh, show thumbnails instead of icons both of these aren't really necessary, but they just make your Windows experience better. And uh, the smooth edges on screen fonts, you know, it's just uh, a nice thing to have. Even if it may slightly, very slightly decrease performance. But yeah, just press apply. Uh, press OK. Mouse and keyboard, which this will disable filter keys, sticky keys, and also adjust a bunch of stuff. Like disable mouse acceleration. And yeah. It's gonna soon open this menu where you can check high-end, mid-end, and low-end CPU. So this is mouse.aq size, and this basically makes your input uh, delay of your keyboard and mouse a lot lower. So basically, just comment your CPU in the comment section. Just reply with this this right here, and I'll let you know if it's uh, low, high, or mid-end. Uh, I have a high-end, so I'm just gonna use high-end, and it will put me back in the menu. Alright, so after that, we have Windows Update Blocker. So there's a few reasons why you want to block Windows updates. So the first reason is that you might be playing a game, and the Windows Update starts running in the background, and this will basically just disable them, but you can always enable them later. So here, basically just press 16, and you can see uh, you can disable updates and then you can enable updates and just press apply now uh, but the other option is that they just install a bunch of telemetry and bloatware and they're just not really needed of course if you want to update your windows uh, just go ahead and enable updates but i personally just keep them disabled and yeah uh, after that we have device cleanup so here just press 17 and press ctrl a on your keyboard 
and go to devices and remove select this. So this removes a bunch of temporary device data which is from devices that are not currently plugged into your PC and yeah, it just takes up uh, a little bit of storage space and, and it's just a nice thing to clean. After that we have RAM tweaks which this will optimize a bunch of stuff like SVC split host, paging ex executive and there's also more memory management tweaks. And yeah, so that's everything for version 1.2. As I said before, get this video to 750 likes uh, and I'll drop version 1.3. But yeah, I love you guys. If you have any questions, just ask me in my Discord server. I'm very active over there. So after you finish all of those tweaks, simply just go and restart your PC like this. Normally just restart your PC. And yeah, if you want to, for example, use a restore point from here, which uh, it made at the start, this will revert all of the tweaks. You basically press on R. And it will do this next and basically just select one of the restore points uh, if you restarted your PC tried it out and it helped you a lot or even if it didn't and you just want the best and if you want more tweaks simply just press on W and it will open my website you can see and here you can check out a lot of stuff like uh, you can check out the reviews you can check out basically everything you can see I have 119 reviews and yeah, I also have like another 200 in my Discord server for standard there are some as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Get the video to 750 likes and I'll post an updated version of the utility with a little bit more tweaks. And yeah, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.